Hello, welcome to Ellen Baptist Church uh, Daily Bible Study. We're going through characters of the Bible and been doing it in an alphabetical order. And today uh, uh, we are uh, looking in, at the letter J still. And today I got an infamous name, <laughs> Judas, uh, one of the twelve, but not a good one of the twelve. Uh, he's in all of the Gospels and is mentioned in the uh, uh, first book of Acts, first chapter of Acts, and uh, uh, we know little about him as far as his story, except that he, his father was named uh, uh, Simon, and uh, uh, he's referred to as Judas uh, as Kirioth. Uh, that just simply means he's from Kirioth, and uh, and so. Uh, but what we do know about him is common knowledge uh, uh, among the world, not even just uh, among Christians. Uh, have you ever been called a Judas? People understand that. It means a betrayer, somebody who, who rats you out, uh, stabs you in the back, you know, because that's exactly what Judas did. He was one of the twelve. Uh, so it raises a lot of questions. Followers of Christ, uh, uh, are they all good? Or people that say they're followers of Christ. Judas obviously said, I'm a disciple, follower, learner. Uh, that was higher education in that day. He attached himself to a teacher, a rabbi, Jesus. And uh, 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 what about that? Did, what, did he fool Jesus? Questions raised, what about the hypocrites in the church? Are there hypocrites in the church? Meaning people that put on a mask saying they're Christian, but they're not really. Well, yes, and Jesus was very aware of that. And as a matter of fact, the scripture uh, plainly tells us that there will be people like that. How do we know that this was known all along? Well, in John chapter 6, verses 66 through 71, it says this, as a result of his uh, of this, many of his disciples withdrew and were not walking with him anymore. This meant there were a lot of people following him around. Not he's not referring to the twelve here, but he's referring to learners, the the crowds that were following. So Jesus said to the twelve, "You do not want to go away, also, do you?" Simon Peter answered him, "Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life." We have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I myself not choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is a devil. Now he meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, for he, one of the twelve, was going to betray him. So you see here that Jesus knew, even at uh, at, at that point in, in the ministry that even one of the twelve so he could say to them are you going to leave me also because Jesus understood and knew that sometimes people pretend to be followers but they are not really also in John chapter 12 uh, this is the place where Mary had uh, 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 had anointed Jesus feet uh, with an expensive uh, fragrance and uh, starting in verse 4 of chapter 12 of John, it says, But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples who was intending to betray him, said, Why has this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor people? Now he said this not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to pilfer what was put into it. So even as they were, uh, you know, long before Jesus, uh, Judas betrayed Jesus, he was a thief. Uh, uh, he was finding ways to enrich himself in the ministry. Sound familiar? So don't be surprised, folks, uh, in our day and age that in the church, any church, that there are people that say they're followers of Christ and they're wolves in sheep's clothing. Don't be surprised, folks, if there are people in the church that are more concerned about money and enriching themselves than they are about helping people. Don't be surprised. It happened to Jesus, 
it'll happen today. All you can do is make sure you are a true follower of Jesus Christ who've been saved by the blood and that you don't use the church of God for financial purposes. God bless you.